Hi right, guys. C32. Eleven hours twenty-four ninety-one percent. We're getting near the end. Thank God. The missus is moaning already. It's uh, nine o'clock. We've just done the um, Doom Arena and lost, unfortunately. But um, if it was easy, everyone would have done it. I'm sure we'll all realise that. But if you look, the city's coming on all right. We're looking a bit hairy, so I have to clean these off with a... I've got a soldering iron with a blade in, so I melt all these um, hairy bits off. Um, doing it without any support, we've got a bit of overhang on there. On there, we've got a bit of sagging. There's a very tiny bit of sagging on that bit of force fill, but... Oh yeah, and over there. We'll cut all those off, melt all these hairs back. She's just getting to the end now. Focus. Looking pretty good. Quite a good size. See, the only trouble with putting the phone holder on the back, like the other one, I had to shrink it down to make enough room to put the phone holder on the back. So whether or not... Um, we'll have a look at consensus of opinion whether... It's, up, it's nice that it's functional as well as a table ornament, but um, it makes it quite a bit smaller um, having the phone holder on the back. So if you look behind, there's not much room on the base. And it has to stick out quite a, quite a long way to get the angle of the phone. I think the other one didn't quite angle enough because like, when you're sitting there having your breakfast in the morning, you've got your phone leaning on your cup of tea. You have to have it at quite an angle. So it's whether or not it will ruin it having the phone holder on the back. What I'll do is I'll post a video of it finished and then um, we can uh, have a little thumbs up or down whether it wants to have a phone holder on the back or not. So hopefully that'll be finished in about another hour and tomorrow I'll post a video of it um, finished. Okay guys, see you later, bye.